Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and uh, in this video, we are talking about Express.js. So maybe you are just thinking that this is a weird line. This is a uh, Node.js tutorial, and we are talking about Express.js. And what is that? Why we are talking about Express.js here? See, in the video, you may have two or three questions. I will answer of all of these questions. First thing is, what is Express.js? See, this is a Node.js framework. And you can compare it like Angular is a framework of JavaScript. We never create front-end application directly in the core JavaScript. We always use Angular, React, or Vue.js, or some other frameworks or library. With the same way, in a backend, we never create application directly in the Node.js. We have to use some frameworks. And Express.js is the best framework, you can say that, now a day. Because in 90% projects, in on, I'm talking about Node.js. In 90% projects of Node.js, we use Express.js. Why? Because it can save lots of time. For example, if you are making an API in uh, core Node.js, then um, it may take around uh, uh, 12 to 15 line for basic uh, for basic API. But in uh, Express.js, you can create an API within three or four lines. And here you can save lots of time and lots of effort and lots of code also, right? So that's why we use Express.js. Okay, so next question uh, you may have that uh, whenever we are learning AngularJS or React.js or uh, Vue or some other libraries, it takes lots of time and they may have around 50 to 60 to 70 videos for a complete framework or library. So is that same case with the Express.js? Actually not. Express.js is not much complex. We can learn we can learn it within a 10 videos or maybe in a maximum 15 videos. This is a really small and easy to use uh, framework, right? So you don't have to bother about it. Next question you may have, we don't want to use Express.js, just we want to learn Node.js because we want a job on Node.js, not on Express.js. See, whenever you are working on node.js application that time you must have to work with the express.js in 90 percent projects because we must have to use a framework and this is the best framework nowadays in uh, node.js second thing if you are just thinking about uh, interviews and you are thinking that in node.js interviews you will just get only the question of node.js no in Node.js interview, you will definitely get the questions for Express.js also, right? So now let's start with the points. I already uh, introduced the Express.js with you. Now we will see how we can install it. And after that, we will make a small example and we will learn some interview questions also. All right, so let's install it. First of all, let me open a terminal and just simply clear your terminal and uh, right here npm install express and within that time this is installing so let me just show you this express package on a browser this is the official website and uh, if you want to visit the npm package then just simply put here npm express and here you can see that this is the Mm, you can see that uh, web framework for node.js which is uh, just mentioned here and after that uh, you can see that this is the npm package right and i hope this is installed yes so now let's again clear this console and let's start with some code see whenever we want to add any module any external module in node.js application like for jwt for uh, api security or any framework or any libraries for validations and all and you want to add some extra package like for google apis and google services and all that time we have to install the npm package so the, during this course we already used three to four packages i want to show here uh, for that like uh, express node logger with the chalk and color and we install this express yes. and in the upcoming video we will install more packages so don't be uh, just thinking that why we are just adding the more and more package this is the just a node.js environment we have to install packages for every feature right 
so now let's load it so for that i am taking a const with the name of express let's require it and package name is express after that we have to just uh, get this express.js in executable form so just put here express.js and execute this function now app is basically ready to use the express.js functions right so let me just simply put here app dot get so uh, in in that uh, time you may have a question so uh, we installed the near node.js so what we are just creating an example see we are just creating some simple pages like home page about us page and help page and all so that you can just get to know how node.js is easy to use uh, sorry how express.js is easy to use right so maybe there is some points that may be they may be confused to you like uh, what is that get and uh, what is the alternative of this get in the uh, in this time so we will learn in the upcoming videos these kind of things right so this is basically an example here you can see how express.js is actually work so see this is uh, but still i am just telling you uh, get is basically a function or you can say that this is a route function to request the data from uh, pages or from api so you may have another question what is that request see that will i will just tell you in the next video i will just explain it with you with a proper diagram so that you can see what is the request what is the response and i will also introduce you with the postman which is a very important tool right so we are basically creating a home page here and uh, because home page don't have any uh, slash home page or slash something url that's why i am just putting it a root and in the second parameter we have to use a callback function and it have the two parameter first one is request second one is response so we are actually responsing here so just put here response dot send and you can simply say that hi this is a home page so now let's try to run it so for that let me simply put here node index.js but uh, just after moment this command is actually just closed but it should not be happen here because whenever we are just want to access the node just on a browser it should be in the running condition so just simply put here app dot listen and just select any port let's say we just select here 5000 port and now again run this command and now you will find that this is in the running form this command is not exiting yet right exiting yet so let's simply put here localhost 5000 and here you can see that hi this is the home page great so now with the same way let's create one more page so i am creating a about page here about and let's put here about page hi this is the about page but now whenever you will just refresh the browser you will find that you cannot access this about page whenever it is running it why because every time whenever you are just making any change you have to rerun your node.js server so hear me here maybe you are just thinking that this is a very bad practice because it will take lots of time and maybe you are just remembering a um, package which we just installed here that is node moon so let's just run here node moon index.js right and uh, now you will find that first thing is this is working already fine so i am not restarting it after the after the installing after running it with the node moon and i am just making another page which is let's say help page and here we can just simply put here help and here you can see that command is continuously running and changing that means it will working fine if we just refresh it and let's just access the help page this is still working fine even i can just change the old urls also let's say i am changing it with the welcome
that now let's refresh them and you will find that everything is working fine so this is the benefit of uh, node moon and here you can just learn that in this video uh, we can, how we can create the multiple pages so how we can add more data in these multiple pages and what is that request and response that we will learn in the upcoming video right so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel